let's make our header and footer area responsive so reload the page and click right click inside your browser and click inspect here and then click here to change the view which is basically called toggle you can drag it here and now as you can see the header and footer looks like this in our laptop which is large here you can see uh, when i hover over the breakpoint it will show us the specific device name and resolution now if i select tablet inside the tablet the header and the footer looks like this the footer looks perfect but the header looks broken now it's time to make our header looks perfect so as you can see or uh, i hope you remember that i have added a row inside the header now i just click on header and it just selected the header from the page and if you take a look at here i just added a row here for social and the buttons because it will be helpful for us to make it responsive now i click on advanced then scroll down and here you can see additional css class if you are not familiar with the css then no worry i will attach the code and the css uh, custom code into the documentation where i have uh, shared you all the file and code in my website now here you can see i'm going to add a class let's called hide or you can type anything here so i'm going to type hide row and type here custom so that it doesn't conflict with the default code so i just added hide row custom click on save again save and reload the page okay make sure you selected the row i have added the class inside the row because i would like to hide the row when i select tablet and mobile devices and that's why i just select row and here i just added the css class and i copy the class from here just copy and navigate to the editor and here you can see the resolution is when i navigate to 768 pixel the tablet mode it looks broken now i'm click over here and select the row from here or the class that i have added you can find the class just look around here and open this one let's reload the page because i have added the class here and i have to reload it again and here you can see okay i'm not sure why it is the class here you can see the class i have added hide row custom and it's visible here after reloading the page now i'm going to click on this plus icon and you can see the class and added with some other classes so i do not want to use other classes here i'm going to select them and press backspace so that i can remove them and type here display none that means it should hidden here now i'm going to copy not this one i'm going to copy the code from here copy and go to the editor so i have to navigate to the dashboard from here so you can navigate always from here but i would like to keep the page looks like this and i am going to navigate from here fsc local and click on here go to dashboard and go to plugins so you remember that uh, at the beginning i have installed this plugin so i'm going to activate this one now when i activate this plugin here you can see options customize and custom css so you can add custom css navigating to customize or just click over here custom css and press enter so i'm going to add some code for making responsive media screen and max width 
let's take a look at the width 678 pixel or 768 pixels sorry and paste the code that means when the media screen size is maximum width 670 pixel then it hidden or it hide the uh, row that i have uh, selected here the class and also uh, less than 768 pixel it's working as expected so let me reload the page here as you can see when i select 600 768 pixel it's hidden and when i reduce the layout it's also working because i have selected the max width not the minimum here you can see the max okay here you can see i have selected the max width so that means this is the max width and inside this ratio the pixel or the area this css code is applicable and when i just uh, exceed this uh, value or when i uh, visit any page uh, which is higher than this device ratio you can see the social icon and the button is visible so if you are not familiar then no worry you can just copy and paste the code and you can just use the same settings that i'm using right now and now the header looks like this so when i select any other dimension for mobile devices by default it comes with a, a full width menu or it called full width navigation or overlay navigation it looks like this and if i navigate to the footer it looks like this but i do not want to use footer like the navigation so that's why i'm going to navigate to the footer area and select the menu from footer here is the navigation i select the navigation and overlay menu off i just off the overlay menu from here and save reload the page now as you can see the menu looks like this it looks at the center uh, it's also a little bug here i have to navigate and fix the bug so i have to just select at the center then left and i have to do the same thing here center left and then click update and now reload the page and hopefully it will be working now as you can see it's now working as expected and that this is how uh, the header and footer is working and now if you take a look at the header uh, there is a background color white i i would like to change the background color the overlay menu let's select the menu navigation and here we can see uh, the options for the color and uh, if you take a look at uh, the overlay the overlay color when i click um, it should display the overlay color and if i choose the background okay when i choose the background it changes the background padding as well um, that's an issue let's let's reduce the header uh, or select preview tablet mode and see mm, well so it's changing but uh, when i select the background it also uh, add another thing uh, if i select the menu text of version it added a space by default when i choose the background from here and if i clear it looks like this so i would say it's a little bug or issue from the editor or the theme hopefully they will uh, fix this uh, in near future because it's it's still in beta version reload the page and the normal menu comes with some spacing and reduce its background now the color is uh, uh, the green color is activated here so this is how it works and if you do not want to uh, add a spacing here you can remove the color because when i remove the color the space uh, reduce the spacing here 
and when i just keep the color the it's adding a spacing by default uh, automatically and hopefully uh, this video will be helpful for you to understand how the responsive header and footer works 